Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So on my last video, <laughs> I told you about going to my dealer at the flea market and he didn't really have anything that I wanted to buy. Well, he had a lot of stuff. He had some bullion. He had one that I probably should have bought, but I didn't get it. You know how it is when you're buying silver and stuff. So as I told you in the last video, I end up buying the silver here and I'm I'm <laughs> I'm new at this and I know a lot of you are new at this too so I did find this Rogers Brothers silver 1847 Rogers Brothers I'm gonna try again to show it show it to you on the camera here see if you see if you can see it I don't know if you can see it or not. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about silverware and stuff. Silverware. It's got a nice silver color to it, but <laughs> it's not sterling silver. It's silver plated. So, still paying a dollar a piece for them. And I saw some on eBay, this particular spoon. For $29 and some of these other spoons for $10 plus shipping so uh, on eBay so I don't think I got ripped off I just didn't I just was not knowledgeable enough when I bought it and but that's okay because I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna keep this one and I'm gonna clean it up and I'm going to use it for my clam chowder. This is going to go with my clam chowder bowl. And when I make my clam chowder, <laughs> I'm going to have me a silver spoon eat out of. So I can say, well, I'm being fed with a silver spoon. <laughs> okay. So like I told you yesterday, when I went to my dealer, he didn't really have anything that I was interested in. And then after thinking about it overnight, I said, well, I'm going by there anyway. I'm going to stop in and see if he's got anything left that I looked at that I might want. And that's what I did. So we were going up to my sister-in-law's house. No, it ain't a beer. <laughs> it's you time. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I was going up to my sister-in-law's house for a lunch with my wife and grandkids and I said I'm gonna stop in that flea market hey you know what right now would be a good time to smash that thumbs up button please and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel I appreciate it I do like me some chocolate yoohoo so anyway on the way to my sister-in-law's house to have lunch and we had Kentucky Fried Chicken, of all things. Mmm, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And that's finger looking good, too. I stopped at the dealer, and I went in there, and I was giving them a hard time. <laughs> and they have this, let's see if I can get it where you can see it here. Five ounce. This is pretty nice. I wish it was in something that I could take out and, and look at it better. This is the back side of it. And it says Sunshine Minting 999 Fine Silver 5 ounces. So I've graduated from buying the 1 ounce silver coins to 5 ounce bars. 5 ounce bars. Which still, it's not a lot of money. Actually, this is cheaper than buying the, the coin, bullion coins. It's cheaper to buy five ounces than it is one ounce. Because this five ounce, today silver was $23.65 an ounce. I'll try to post something here. Now, just for your guys' information, this is where I usually check the gold price and silver price before I go out shopping for gold or silver. 
sbcgold.com. This is their chart. I'm actually going to save that link and I'm going to put it in the description down below so you can check it. But if you click on gold, it's going to tell you what the gold is. It's up 1861. Silver is 2371. That's more than it was this morning. So I got a little bit of a break on it when I bought it. So $130 for this is cheaper than paying uh, 27 something for a bullion, one ounce bullion cube. So five, five coins at $25 will be $125. This I got for $130. So it's about $26, $27 an ounce versus $29 now. Anyway, I got this for less money, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. All right, what do you think about it? Also, if you guys have any comments or questions, don't forget to post them down below. And if you bought any cool coins or bullion or something you want to share with me that, that you want me to, uh, to uh, feature on one of my videos, hey, send me an email. My email is in the description below. Send that to me, and I'll use that in an upcoming video if you want me to and show some stuff that I haven't shown on my channel. But, but anyway, I got this, and I'm proud of it, and it's good. And this is, you're not really spending money when you're buying silver. You're just changing one currency for another currency. And because to me, this is, the, this is the currency, the real currency. Because what happens if the Fed keeps printing money, eventually we'll be like Venezuela, and the paper money won't be worth anything. So... Silver and gold, if you can afford gold, uh, you know, if not, buy some silver. You can get it cheap. It's cheap. You're just changing worthless paper money for something that's real. That's real. I was at another booth yesterday at the flea market, and a girl comes up, and I wished I would have called her before she got there. But after she got there and started talking to the guy, I realized that she was a relative to the to the dealer. And she brought in a 10th ounce gold uh, piece of bullion that was in the in the holder from the factory. And she brought in a, a thick, a thick, that I mean, it was that thick gold coin. I mean, not gold, silver coin. And uh, and he, he bought them from her. He bought both of those from her for $200. Which I'm sure the silver, uh, the gold piece was worth more than the two hundred dollars, but like I said, it was a relative, and she, he told her that if once he got done checking it out, if she would come back next week, if it was worth more than what he paid her, that he would give her more money. So that was a, that was fair, and and he's been there for years, so I I don't doubt that he's gonna do that. So. Anyway, I'm proud of my silver bar. So now let's get back to talking about this stuff. Let's put this over here so it can show up nice and pretty. Let's see. There you go. So anyway, on the on the silver uh, plated silver spoons, I was just thinking of what to do with those because what I was going to do if they were if they were all sterling silver, I was going to go back to the guy today. And I was going to buy everything he had, and I was going to find some local guy that does uh, forging and smelting metal, and I was going to have him make me a bar out of it. But after finding out that, it, that it's just plated, it would take too much money to separate it and to get the silver off of it to make whatever's left. And i got to take another drink of my yoo -hoo. I must be getting drunk on chocolate. Look at that. <laughs> yoo -hoo! Yeah, I was going to find, try to find a smelter, a local smelter, and smelt it down. And I'm still going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to look around and find me some uh, silver, some real sterling silver, and see if I can find somebody to smelt it down and make my own silver bars. If you have any comments about that, post them down below and let me know what you think about that. And then the other thing 
I, I mean, I kind of like this stuff. I mean, it's cool. But I, I think I'm going to do some other stuff with it. I think I'm going to try to make uh, some jewelry out of it. So if you have any ideas or comments or questions about that, you can post that down below too and tell me what you think. But I think I can make some little trinkets out of this and clean it up and shine it up and make it shiny. Make some rings maybe for the kids. And I don't know what to do with this part, with the spoon part. I don't know. Maybe make something, solder something onto it, make a little brooch out of it or something. Ooh, look at that. Oh, maybe that would side be better. I don't know. But if you have any ideas, let me know. Because that's got a nice design to it. You see that? I think I could do something with that. I don't know. Let me just... I think I can make something out of that. And then I can take this part, and cut it off here, cut it off here. And make a ring out of it. I think I can. What do you think about that? And I could be wasting my time. But I'm going to make a video. When I start doing it. When I start cutting and pounding. I'm going to make a video out of it. and So you guys can see what I'm doing. Because I got to do something. I hope you had an awesome time watching. And I hope you're having an awesome day. And get all that negativity out the negativity away from you oh i do have to make one more comment for those of you that are still here i really appreciate you watching but i have had some trolls trolling my channel and making comments in the description or i mean not in the description that's where i make my comments and the comment section you know they just bad mouthing me for whatever reason i don't have nothing against nobody everybody do their own thing i don't care you know but if you come here and you put in comments down there, my grandkids watch this and stuff, and family members watch my channel, and I don't really want anything negative and, uh, you know, something bad, stuff, bad comments. I mean, I don't mind if I, I, I can take criticism, you know, I can take the criticism. But to just be mean and write mean stuff, I'm just going to delete you and block you from the channel. So if you if you you know if you're watching this video and you did that and then all of a sudden you can't see the channel no more, that's why because I really love the comments. I really do because I like to reply to them and talk to different people around the world, and that's great. But if you, if you can't say something nice, you know what your mom taught you. If you can't say something nice, just don't say nothing. That'd be my motto. Mm, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> you guys have an awesome day. This is Tuesday, I'm sure, because I made this video to put on for Tuesday. And I hope you guys have an awesome week.